Hey everyone, welcome to Weekly Vlog 65. You can probably tell this is not my usual background. I'm in London. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll already know that the Weekly Vlog last night oh, was just an absolute pain and I spent all day trying to get that Weekly Vlog up. Like, oh, in the end, it, obviously you guys will know, it went up this morning, so Tuesday, so I do apologise. That's the first time it's gone up late since I finished uni. So yeah, I explained on Twitter and Instagram but yeah, it's kind of hard to let you guys know here on YouTube. I know there is a comment section, but I keep forgetting to use it. But anyway, it went up. I don't know what was wrong with it, but it was just not what I needed. And clearly it was going to happen though, because it's the night before London. And we all know that the night before London for Sarah never goes very well. So I had to pack and do the weekly vlog, which normally takes all day anyway. And honestly, it was just so stressful. But never mind. So the train this morning was cancelled. <laughs> so I had to switch stations to get a different one and so did everybody else so there was two trains worth of people on this one train and I managed to get a seat it wasn't a great seat I ended up on a table which I don't like tables and uh, the person in front of me was snoring he had the worst breath never mind anyway I managed to get like my uh, my suitcase in a luggage rack but I couldn't see it because it was in a luggage rack down the other end and I was panicking the whole time that somebody was going to walk off with it Oh, honestly. The carriage was full of a school trip, so I couldn't hear the conductor. And then something happened to the lines above the train and we ended up being two hours delayed and none of us could hear what the conductor was telling us because these kids were just going crazy. It was unbelievable. Um, I ended up like tweeting Virgin Trains and yeah, it was okay. They give me free Wi-Fi and stuff, but I did lose my seat for reservation when I managed to get a seat. The first train was cancelled for whatever reason but then my train was delayed because of the wires and then the wires affected loads of trains and loads of trains got cancelled and there was honestly five times the amount of people on that train that there should have been it was insane like i had to like climb over people to get to the toilet it was insane but anyway i had a seat and my bag's okay so it's all okay so we got here in the end so i didn't vlog very much me being on my own with this big suitcase um i had the camera away in my bag so it was just safe anyway we're here now it's all good i've got my camera let's vlog so i am in london for the next three days um the hotel i'm in is called the ascot high i'll be honest there's a few things that like i'm trying not to talk too loud because the walls are really thin but there's a few things that are a bit like i'll bring you closer i don't know this window here is the noisiest window in the world like because i'm on like a main road and it's open and i can't get it shut because it's really old and stuff and creaky i've got my massive stormtrooper suitcase and the floor i'm on doesn't have a lift it's really weird so i'm in room like 701 or something or 702 but to get to it you had to go on the third floor and then walk up a load of stairs like tiny stairs and I was like, oh, are you kidding us? Like, what are the chances that I'd be put on the floor without a lift with this massive suitcase? It's just really up and out of the way and the door doesn't lock. And you know when you just feel a bit kind of uneasy? Um, and you're probably saying, well, what's the problem? Like, it seems like a nice hotel. And it does. It honestly does. Like, it has a kettle and everything. It's really clean, apart from one of the cups wasn't clean. Um, the bathroom's, like, obviously quite new. Like, it is all fine there isn't a mirror though apart from in the bathroom which is weird because i need to do my hair in a bit so i don't know how i'm going to do that but yeah it's just i feel like i'd feel a bit safer if either one the door locked yeah it was just the fact that there's three rooms up here so there's only two of the rooms on this floor and with me being my own i can't really explain it you walk up all these stairs and it's like i feel like i could shout and nobody on the floors beneath me would hear me like i really am like on the top of the building up out of the way and again if the door locked it wouldn't be as much of a problem like from the inside because i know how people can only get in with a key card but like yeah i don't know I, I just feel a bit funny that i can't lock the door in a night being on my own as well because if you watched last week you'll probably know what i'm about you'll probably know what i'm on about but i had to book this hotel for two nights and two separate bookings it was just the way it worked out and I said to the guy, like, will I have this room for the two nights? Because I explained to him I booked it on two bookings and he just didn't really say anything. And I was like, well, I need to come back down in the morning or... And like, because he just gave us my key card and, and he was just like, floor three, up the stairs. And I was like, okay. Like, he didn't say much. Um, He didn't say what time checkout was. He didn't say, like, there's breakfast available if you want to get it. Like, I haven't paid for breakfast. 
he didn't see like the wi-fi cord he didn't see like nothing it said do i need to check out in the morning and check back in to like and do i get to keep the same room and he was just like come down before 11 and we'll try and keep you the same room and then he just started i don't know it was weird and it was like talking to someone else and it was like if i hadn't have asked i would have just assumed that i'd had this room for two nights because i explained to him as soon as i came in like i booked for two nights so would i have got charged for staying in this room like i have to go down in the morning with my suitcase check out and then he said he's going to try and keep the same room but it's like well if i'm going down with my suitcase I don't mind checking into another room because one i don't like the floor i'm on two it doesn't lock and three i'm not happy with this window so yeah i feel like maybe i should just complain now and be like can i be put in a different room but i've been here about an hour and i'm honestly so knackered and i'm on my period so i've got my hot water bottle because i knew there was a kettle i'm just exhausted and i kind of just want to be like oh you know what like i'll stay in this room tonight and then I'm going to go down in a second because apparently there's a Sainsbury's local around here and I'm going to go and get a bottle of water and some food for the room um because I wasn't I haven't had lunch and I won't have time to go out for dinner I'll just be going straight to the Disney event so yeah when I go down I might say to him like my door doesn't lock is there anything that can be done about that what's the wi-fi passcode in the morning when I check out of this room I want to check into a different room so yeah kind of not the room itself is like fine ish but i'm just not happy about i don't know if i was with matthew i wouldn't be as fussed about the door not locking and being up on the top floor just feel a bit uneasy i also think i'm gonna get an uber back tonight from the event instead of getting like the underground stuff on my own normally i don't stress about these things but normally my hotels are fine but because i've been down so many times like th this is the third week in the row i was just trying to book the cheapest nicest hotel i could and it is fine um and it was a good price but yeah i'm just not maybe it's just the room i'm in but anyway i'm gonna stop complaining and i'll just go and speak to the guy about it because like i'm not the type of person to be quiet about it but the vibe i got from him on the front desk i just don't think he'll be very helpful and so i could really do without the stress so anyway i'll speak to him when i go down but i'm gonna put i've like literally been here about an hour first thing i did was hot water bottle and a cup of tea i brought soy milk for the room i actually remembered soy milk like matthew went to asda and got me some but i've run out of paracetamols and ibuprofen and i have to take both when i'm on my period and even then i'm still in pain and i've run out of both so i'm gonna go to this scene breeze get some food get some tablets and get some water for the room because i drink a lot of water so yeah I'm so tired um and with my train being two hours delayed i'm quite a bit behind schedule like i want to chill out for quite a bit like i got as many lifts as possible on the undergrounds but i knew i'd be tired when i get here because i always am so i don't know maybe i'm just a worry and i don't want to insult anyone that lives in london this is just a very different atmosphere for me living up in the northeast another thing as well like i was on the underground and these guys started playing the saxophone and some music and singing and they obviously wanted money which is absolutely fine but it was still really nice like they were playing music and dancing around and everything and i was like everybody's so grumpy like everybody was ignoring them and like not really saying anything and like avoiding eye contact with them and i was sat there like yeah and it was just like if this was up in the northeast everybody would be up dancing with them and well maybe not everyone but the people that weren't wouldn't be avoiding eye contact like anyway i give them some money and i had a little dance <laughs> but i didn't want to get my camera out because i had well basically i was carrying that backpack and that big suitcase so this is the room by the way the twin beds it was the cheapest room but tomorrow the cheapest room was a double so yeah i have a twin bedroom tonight and then tomorrow i'm gonna go and tell them that i do want to move and i have a double bedroom so i feel like there should be a mirror there but there's not so there's a kettle there's loads of milk but i've brought my own soy milk i've got porridge and stuff for the kettle in the morning because i didn't get breakfast i've got my hot water bottle um oh, i'm just in so much pain that's the bathroom there that is the door that does not lock um from the inside like it does but basically there's a lock on it but the way they fitted a handle covers the lock so you go to turn it and it just can't get past the way they've screwed it on i can't explain it and then there's a tv up there i was just watching some top gear chilling out for a bit i really need to get ready it's already like coming at four o'clock and the event's at seven and i suddenly like dye my hair and leave at like half six so i better get a move on okay i've calmed down a little bit <laughs> i went downstairs 
and it was a different guy on reception and he was so much nicer and he just calmed me down a bit who knows maybe it's something to do with my period but i was just a bit yeah i asked him like about the room not locking and he was like don't worry nobody can get in without a key card and the people that have key cards like won't come in he was like i promise you we won't come in and he was like we're gonna get someone to check out the room anyway in the morning and i was like oh but i'm checking out in the morning and then getting a different room and i was like can i definitely have a different room and he was like yeah like we'll make sure you get a different room tomorrow if that's better for you so i'm getting a different room in the morning i do have to check out before 11 and then I thought it wouldn't matter if I was ready or not because I could just get ready in the next room. But he says that the next room might not be ready. So I'm going to have to be ready for 11 o'clock and check out. And then if I can check in, I'll check in. But if I can't, then I'll have to leave my bag and then check back in when I come back later. So there's that. Uh, there is Wi-Fi. The other guy was just so unhelpful. Like, he didn't tell me anything. So the guy gave me a Wi-Fi code, which works. So now I'm on the Wi-Fi, thank God. And... There's also a luggage room for me to leave my luggage on Thursday, so I'm a lot more calmer. I found a local Sainsbury's and went and got some paracetamol and ibuprofen. There was a bar burrito, so I had like a burrito and I got myself a coke and just, yeah, got some big bottles of water for the room as well. So I've calmed down a little bit and then I thought, you know what, I actually don't have much time, I need to get ready. So I wanted to curl my hair, but I have actually repinked it, I don't know if you can tell. Uh, it's a lot darker in real life, so that's weird. Um, but yeah, I repinked my hair and then I haven't brought my straighteners. So it's a bit frizzy. You're probably looking at it thinking it's not Sarah, but trust me, it is. It's just not fully dry yet. Uh, the ends go all like frizzy and curly and stuff. So I've done my makeup, I haven't done any eyeshadow this time, and I haven't curled my hair. But yeah, I've decided to put this dress on and then I've put these little Mickeys here. It's supposed to be like a festival Mickey mini party. I didn't want to go too casual. But I don't know, I would wear this to a festival and I think it's Mickey and Minnie. Like this dress is quite mini, I think, like Minnie Mouse. And then I've put these Mickeys here. And um, these were just from Primark. And then I do just have my trainers on. I didn't want to wear trainers, but I didn't realise I was wearing this. So I don't know if the trainers go. Like if I was going to wear trainers, I would have wore pink trainers. So I don't think the trainers go. But at least I'll be comfortable. I don't know, I'll ask the guys when I see them. But it is half past, so I have to go because it's in half an hour. So... I'm really excited. I'll be vlogging from now on more. I realise I've been in London pretty much all day and I haven't vlogged much because I was on the train and I've been hiding in the hotel room. But yeah, I feel a lot better and I'm really excited for this event. I've been talking to the guys, so I'm going to go because I don't want to be late. So let's go. It is a Mickey and Minnie festival party, pre-festival party, with loads of exclusive things and a goodie bag and things. So yeah, let's go. This is going to be fun. <laughs> We're going into the back room. What? What? This is so much bigger than I thought. What is this? <laughs> it's like in a back room and everything. <laughs> I haven't seen Mickey or Minnie since the Gift Magic event. Yeah. Oh, what? I know. So cool. There's a bubble room.
right wheel, yeah. technically, isn't it? records it was an epic night okay guys I'm back from the event I hope you can hear me I'm gonna stay quite close to the camera because I'm in my room and I'm very aware that there is somebody in that room so I don't want to talk too loud and wake them up how amazing is that so cool oh no oh it's a piece of glitter <laughs> oh my god the event was amazing like my little group of Disney blogger friends, we always say that the best event that we've all been to is the Gift Magic one last November with Disney Store. This one is up there with that. Honestly, this event was amazing. Oh my god, it was so good. So all my Disney friends were there. Um, so you've got like Greg, Nick, Charlotte and Gemma who I only met at the Spectrum event last week, which is lovely. And it was really weird. It was in the back of a record shop, like downstairs from getting in there it was amazing like i tried to put loads on my instagram but i tried to vlog loads on here as well so make sure you follow me on instagram because then you get to see it happen on the day so yeah oh my god there was like glitter station there was tayo station so i got a mickey on that wrist mini on that wrist there was mickey and mini uh, who i met like five times and we did like a group thing with them when we all put our hand in and shouted so much really cool stuff happened there was like loads of clothes like really nice clothes and bags everybody was just lovely oh my god it was just such a good night we were there like we were the last people to leave like we did not want to leave it was so good like that is my type of event so there was music on but there was food and drink there was clothes there was things to do like Oh, I don't know and then there was Mickey and Minnie like honestly one of my favorite events like ever like it was so good it's basically for Mickey turning 90 I am not taking this off hashtag Mickey 90 check out that hashtag for everybody else's photos from the night as well how could I actually really want these tattoos like if my arm it's weird when you've got your arm straight like that oh my god how cool is it though so I've got Mickey on that arm and mini on that arm everybody else got glitter ones but i wanted black because i wanted them to look like real tattoos i was so good i couldn't get the tattoo tomorrow i think i might wait until summer is over because you're not supposed to get tattoos you're not supposed to put i'm totally going on a tangent here but if you watch last week's vlog basically i said i was going to get a tattoo but i messaged her she sent me a better price than the other company 
of a tattoo shop. Plus, I really want to do it with Matthew. Um, it's just something we've always said we would do it together. When you get a new tattoo, you're not really supposed to put them in the sun, and it's summer now, and they're going to be on my arms. So I'm thinking that I might get my tattoos at the end of the summer, going into winter, when I'll be wearing like more like longer sleeve clothes, which is a shame because they'll be covered up. But oh my god, I'm absolutely knackered. <laughs> Like when I first got in the room, I was probably like buzzing. I was like, I don't even want to go to sleep. Like I want the event to continue. But now I've been sat on the bed for it and I've, I've let, like I've rang Matthew to tell him that I'm all right and everything. Uh, Cause it was a bit scary getting off the underground with it being pitch black. Like I ran from the underground. Like Nick and Greg walked me to my underground. Like their underground was the underground opposite. So I was on the underground with them. Gemma and uh, Charlotte had to run for their trains. So yeah, I got on the underground and they got on theirs like right across the platform. And then I was on the pat uh, underground and then I ran from the underground to my hotel. I was like, and I had everything like strapped on, like, whew. so I got back to the hotel, like I'm all good. So it's five past 12 Um, I need to get my makeup and everything off and then I need to get back up in the morning. And I'm meeting Hannah, Hannah Marie Magic at 12 at Oxford Street. So it's basically just the direction I've just come from. Got a goodie bag, which I haven't even looked in yet. So I'll have to keep my voice down, but I thought we would look in the goodie bag together. So let's look in the goodie bag. So this is the goodie bag. How nice is that? How nice is that tote bag? The first thing I've pulled out of the goodie bag is this cap. How nice is this? This is really nice. The oh, it feels nice. So this is from Typo. It's from Typo. I don't know how much it read. Oh, I do. So this is eight pound. That's amazing. Spectrum. Oh my god. So this is a Spectrum makeup bag with big fluffy pom pom. Oh my god. More Spectrum brushes. I'm so spoiled right now. Oh my god. That's amazing. Oh my god. They're absolutely beautiful. I just got another four spectrum brushes lilac pink and purple there's quite a lot in here like I have been spoiled oh my god these honestly hold it together Sarah these are official Disney parks ears I don't have the red ones I have um pink mini ears from the parks all my other ears are handmade ones i now have the red mini ears from the park these are from the park are they from disney or disney world i think that's a euro so these are 13.99 euros this is these are from disneyland paris what is my life okay can i also just say I have ears from the park and they kill my head and I've tried on a lot of ears from the park and they kill my head. These are really comfortable but they are definitely Disney park ears. That's really weird. Are they like new adult ones or something? No, it says it's for children. Oh my god, that is so cute. So I've got Disney Junior Mini Mouse. Oh, and it's like a little pink mini. Oh, she is the cutest. I've got some more of these. You guys know a couple of weeks ago and if you follow me on Instagram that I have these. I've actually used more of these. Um, I actually really like them so that's amazing. I actually wanted more of those. So that's absolutely amazing. This is what it was. It was festival edit and it was Mickey, hashtag Mickey 90. Oh wow. So these are Primark. Are they? Yes, Primark. Primark mini nails. <gasps> Oh my god, they are glamorous. Oh. oh my god. I actually needed a new book this size to do my taxes in. I'm sorted. Growing up is optional. I'm guessing this is typo. Yeah, typo. We don't have typo up in the northeast, so this is amazing for me. I don't I don't have any typo. The pages are plain, but for my taxes. That's amazing. Oh my god, it smells really good. Mickey water. I am not drinking this. This is going on my bookcase. Oh my god, Mickey water. <laughs> so this is six pound in typo. I don't know how well you're going to be able to say this. A mini in there. Can you see her? And then she like, obviously the glitter goes down. Oh, and it goes with the book as well because it's got gold on it. Can you see the gold there? Oh, wow. He's like kind of like squishy, jelly, shiny, but not squishy. Oh, look at that. 
That's a really nice key ring. He's like squishy. It's like they know. It's like they know. Pink Mickey enamel badge from Typo. And it's four pound that's a really good price i did already look at this item that i'm about to pull out because we were all oh my god amazed when when we pulled this out i have been gifted a danielle nicole disney handbag i don't own one of these because i can't afford one but genuinely have always loved them and can't decide which one to get it's like they're an investment piece and they are worth it. And I've promoted them on my Instagram and stuff because I love our work. Like, I think our stuff's beautiful. And I've, I've spoken to her as well. Like, she's lovely um, on Instagram. And yeah, I've never been able to decide which one to get for the price and like invest. Um, truth be told, the new Cinderella carriage one came out a few days ago and I was actually going to get it because I thought it was a really good price and it looks like it'll fit loads in. But the fact that I've now been gifted this Minnie Mouse one, and look how beautiful it is. Like, it's an actual Danielle Nicole handbag. So does that, like, hang down? Oh, and that's, like, her hands there, like, hanging down. You know when people take amazing photos in front of the Disneyland Paris castle with Danielle Nicole handbag? I need to do this. I need to book a Disney trip. I don't know how much this one is. And it is one of our new ones, so I don't know, I don't think it's out just yet, but it's coming out. I'm so unbelievably grateful right now. Like I can't even tell you how fortunate I feel right now. Like a Daniel Nicole handbag. Like what is my life like? <sighs> there was people at this event that was just like, "How am I here?" I don't know if you guys have heard of them, probably because they're quite big. But there was like Emily Canham. Um, there was Roxasaurus. Oh my God! There were so many just amazing people there and like the owners from spectrum who i met last week they were there again and they were like asking about my secret dress that i had on like everybody's so lovely and it's just like how did i get invited to this and how did i get gifted all this stuff it's just unreal it really is so thank you disney for inviting me and thank you to all these companies that have gifted me this stuff that was everything i've been gifted it's after 12 o'clock like quite it's like coming up half 12. I need to get all of this off and get into bed because I need to get up in the morning and get ready and pack again. So I'm going to get to bed but this was one of my best nights of my life. I had such a good time and all this amazing stuff. I just am in shock right now. I really am. So thank you again and thank you to you guys because without you guys this wouldn't be possible. Like I really do owe you guys everything. So thank you so much just for watching my videos like and comment and thank you and i'm going to go to sleep now if i can sleep because i'm still buzzing <laughs> night guys hey guys it's the next morning i think i only got about five and a half hours sleep like six hours sleep like yeah i didn't expect to get much but i don't feel too bad um my stomach feels a bit bleh but i'm fine honestly i'm just complaining anywho so i've got myself ready it is 22 11 and i need to check out by 11 so i'm trying to hurry up they won't have a room ready i'm just going to Go and meet Hannah. But I need to hurry because I'm gonna miss checkouts and I'm gonna get going. Guys, I found Hannah. Finally! Oh. You know it's actually been a month. No, this time last year, this month. Yeah, when, this month. Yeah, yeah when we met. Month. Yeah. That's so crazy. It's been a year. But now we get to spend the whole day together. I know, and we're in, we're a Disney store, guys. So we're gonna not, go in and do quite, some shopping. Not quite Disneyland outside the uh, Peter Pan ride, but <laughs> yeah, that yeah, that was much better. But still, it's Disney store, and it's the London store. So oh my god, the same one as oh. the um, the one in Disneyland Paris. Paris one. Yeah, okay, we're gonna have to go in here. But maybe we haven't. I don't think it's just always so magical when we're together, Greg. No, exactly. <laughs> <laughs>
You would totally fit in. size as well. Yeah. <laughs> How much? 17. excuse that I'm lying down in bed and again I'm in the hotel so I don't want to talk too loud Um, I really don't oh, <laughs> I'm so tired I really don't know when the last time I spoke to you was Um, I'm getting confused with my Instagram because I'm trying to vlog on my Instagram story every day now as well so I'm making sure I do it on both like I'm not forgetting about you guys um, it's just hard to remember which one I did last. I've already had loads of feedback on my Instagram. If you do want to see other footage from what I get up to and more on a daily basis, then check out my Instagram because you guys are already giving me feedback saying that you're still loving it. So I'm really trying hard. But anywho, I'm back at the hotel um, and I'm in a much better room. So let me just quickly explain. So I met Hannah, we went to the Disney store and then I met up with Nick and Greg well actually Greg first and then Nick and then we went in a couple of stores where you're not allowed to record there was stuff at the event last night that I wanted from Reserved but there was nothing in Reserved that was Disney absolutely nothing so the store's called Reserved so check out their website I'm going to check it out in a bit to see if the Disney stuff's on the website but it wasn't in store so that's kind of annoying probably a good thing though because I spent money on other things to do we went in Uniqlo where you're not allowed to record, River Island where you're not allowed to record and then we really quickly had a look in H&M because me and Hannah are very alike and we both like feel that we have like big ribs where we can't really wear clothes like really high up and we don't like high waisted jeans because it's uncomfortable and me and Hannah live for the low rise jeans so I used to get my low rise jeans in H&M 
So we went into H&M where I'm also not allowed to record. My battery's dying. If my battery dies, I'll change the battery. But yeah, we both went into H well, we went into H&M and there was no low rise jeans. So we walked all the way down to Tottenham Court Primark because Hannah hadn't been in the Tottenham Court Road Primark where the Harry Potter stuff is. And I really wanted to show her like the like owls and the letters on the roof and everything because it's like a nice thing to do when you haven't seen it before. Me and Hannah went up to Orbain Cafe in Selfridges. We wanted to go to a pastel cafe and that one as you'll have seen hopefully was gorgeous i'll show you the picture as well i think it's this side that um hannah took for me while we we're in there and it had like all the i think it's like meant to be like lavender but i'm not sure but all the flowers on the roof they're obviously fake but they don't look at they look beautiful like it's such a lovely calf and me and hannah were that tired from walking down to primark and all the way back up to selfridges and we were in the cafe for i think about two and a half hours just drinking tea and chatting and honestly I love Hannah to bits like I get on with us so well like we've got so much in common like I feel like if she lived closer to us we would hang out like pretty much every day like we really do just get on like she's so amazing it's just really nice to see you Hannah if you're watching because I know you watch my weekly vlogs and we really need to do it again soon because I had such a good time so yeah me and Hannah really need to go book a Disney trip together because that would be absolutely amazing so Hannah we're booking Disney <laughs> but yeah so it was really nice we went back around to where Hannah's parents were and then I got the underground back and when I got back it was the n it when I checked out it was the not so nice receptionist from yesterday morning when I checked in and he was a bit funny with us again and I was like he said do you just want the same room again and I was like well no because I paid for a double room so and I didn't really like that room because I can't carry my luggage all the way up the stairs like the suitcase is heavy it's got big bottles of water in like it had like two of these in because I drink a lot of water so I was like I'd really rather not carry that luggage all the way back up there myself and all the way back down in the morning and he was like I'll carry it up for you now and I was like I know but the phone do the room doesn't even have a phone like how will I ring you in the morning to help me carry it back down and I'm just really I'm just starting to get like really fatigued like my voice hurts and I've still got another full day in London so I was like if it's okay I've booked a double room I'd rather just have a different room that's a double room because that was a single room like a twin room I came back tonight and it was the nice guy and he was like oh I've been expecting you and he was like I've got you a room already and I was like oh okay and he was like you booked a double didn't you and I was like yeah and he was like oh well did you want front or back of the hotel and I was like oh can I have the back please because the front was really loud and he was like, yeah, not a problem. I'm going to give you the biggest room that we've got. I was like, what? And he was like, just for compensation for last night. And I was like, oh, I didn't. Okay. Okay. Like, I didn't really think I'd complained, but okay, that's nice. Like, thank you. So yeah, I've come up to the room. I've been, I've been back in the room. Probably going on two hours now. I'm really sorry that I haven't got back to this before now, but I really needed to just, like, I feel a bit sick today. Like, I think I'm just a bit kind of, there's just a lot going on and i'm just a bit tired and stressed i'm mentally fine i'm having a great time but physically my body's just not keeping up okay sorry if the angle changed but the battery died but i've changed it now all is good yeah one more day we're getting there <laughs> not that i wanted to be over though because i'm really enjoying being down here like i kind of really love the atmosphere and i i love like this as my job and the fact that i'm doing it like every day when i'm down here like it just really want to make want to make me move down here and yeah and then just loving the whole experience and just everything that's come my way at the minute. Like, I really am so grateful. Like, that event last night, like, <gasps> I still don't want to take that off. But, uh, like, I had a shower this morning and I didn't, I tried so hard not to wash them off and they haven't moved. By the way, this, this is the Kat Von D foundation. Um, this is, like, a full day of being in London. I haven't powdered once. This is the sixth time I've worn it, or the fifth. Basically, every day I've been in London since I bought it, I've worn this. I haven't worn it back home yet, so that'll be interesting because it's not as humid and sticky back home. But this is holding up so well in London and at events and being like hot and being on the undergrounds. Like, even with my other foundation, which I loved, I was just powdering just every four hours or something, and that was like fine, just a quick little powder and then away with this i'm not powdering it's not caking i sometimes get a little bit of crease here um but then i can just dab, like dab it down and then it's fine honestly i am so impressed by this foundation and the tester she gave us i only just finished that this morning so that little tester did me four times and i do like a heavy coverage like i and this has been on 10 
This has been on 12 hours. You guys know what my skin like looks like under here. It's pretty bad. This is a 12 hour Cat Von D. There's a couple of little things, but 12 hours, no powdering. That's pretty good. Anyway, I'll give you another update once I've worn it home a few times. So I'm gonna get to bed and in the morning, I'll show you the room and then we're gonna head out to the Primark event. So good night. Good morning. It's the next day. I'm in a super hurry. Like I've got 10 minutes to check out and I still need to get all of my bags downstairs. I couldn't get my bag for later in my suitcase. So I'm gonna have to hopefully be able to check that one in as well. Didn't really wanna do that. Oh my God, I'm super Russian. I don't wanna like get charged for the room. I've got 12 minutes. So I just quickly show you the room and then I'm gonna have to go. So this room is a double room. So that's like the window over there. I had a fan in this room, which I didn't in the last one. I had a chair in this room, which I didn't in the last one. That's just all like stuff I've had to take out of the primary bag and put in my suitcase. So I had a telly. Um, I actually had a mirror in this room, which was great. There's my breakfast. And then in the bathroom, it was just pretty much the same as the last one, except for I had a shower and it filled up instantly. So I had the world's quickest shower. But yeah, this this room had a phone, which the other one didn't, a mirror, which the other one didn't. Like this room was so much nicer. So I slept in this bed and put my stuff on this bed. But yeah, I'm gonna have to go guys because I'm Russian. So let's go to the Primark press day.
Guys, look at all these really cool things from Summer Bond. I cannot wait to show you what's coming. It's all beautiful stuff. And look at this amazing restaurant that they brought me to. It's called Ping Pong. It's absolutely beautiful. that I want. I must not buy it. I must not buy it. I've just come into Byron for a burger because um, I really like the burger that I had in here with Matthew last week and also quickly huge shout out to Lee that works in the Irregular Choice store on Carnaby Street because you're an absolute babe and you just made my experience in Irregular Choice even better if that's even possible. I hope you can hear me. Um, I'm in a toilet so I'll come a little bit closer. Um, Pride Mark event, amazing. I had a tarot reading and she was spawn. She was like, were you thinking about relocating? And I was like, yeah, and she was like, for work? And I was like, yeah, and she was like, yeah, you need to do that. I was like, so that was amazing. The rainbow in the Primark all winter, oh my god, unreal. Like that puffer jacket, need it. And then I went and had my meeting with Summer Bond. Oh my god, Ingrid is so lovely. I can't wait to show you what I got. I'll show you tomorrow. And then I went into the regular choice store. Shout out to Lee. She was an absolutely amazing, lovely woman. She works in the Carnaby Street store. So go say hi to her. And then I've come to get a burger. I've just had my burger at Byron, the beatnik. Mwah. And I'm now going to go and get my suitcase. I've got two and a half hours to get back to the hotel, get my suitcase and get back to King's Cross. It's plenty of time without being too rushed. So let's go and get my suitcase. <laughs>